Russian missile attacks of Ukrainian territory threaten Moldova with an environmental disaster. President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky warned Kishinev about the possible danger. In a publication on Telegram following a meeting of the commander-in-chief headquarters, the head of state noted that during the recent shelling, the target of Russian strikes was the Nista hydroelectric power station, which is located near the border with Moldova. The destruction of this hydroelectric power station can lead to flooding of surrounding Settlements. The Kanevska and Dniester hydroelectric power stations became the conscious targets of the enemy. A terrorist country wants a repeat of the environmental disaster in the Kherson region. But now not only Ukraine but also Moldova is under threat. The water will not stop at the border pillars, just as the Russian war will not stop if we do not stop it in Ukraine together and in time. Volodymyr Zelensky, President of Ukraine on Telegram. According to the Chernivtsi Regional Military Administration, Russian missiles were shot down while approaching the Nista hydroelectric station. Analysts point out that this is not the first attempt of the Russian authorities to attack specifically this hydroelectric power plant. In their opinion, in addition to power outages, its damage can also create problems for agriculture due to interruptions in water supply. However, experts say that due to proper design, the chances of destruction of the power plant are low. Presumably, the aggressor aimed to achieve these two goals. On the one hand, to diminish Ukraine's capabilities to receive electricity from neighboring countries. And the second probable goal was to increase Moldova's dependency virtually to 100% on electricity from power stations located in the Transnistria region. Maxim Belyavsky, leading expert on energy programs at the Razumkov Center, in a comment to the publication RBC Ukraine. Analysts say that Moldova is aware of the risks associated with Russia's aggressive actions and therefore Kishinev is actively strengthening its defense capabilities. In particular, Kishinev allocated funds from its defense budget for the purchase of new models of aerial civilian systems from French companies. Moldovan President Maya Sandu and French President Emmanuel Macron signed a security agreement which stipulates that a French military mission will be created on the territory of Moldova, which will be responsible for training the Moldovan army and taking into account the fact that there are risks that sooner or later the Transnistrian conflict could flare up again. This could also help the Moldovan army to be prepared for potential aggression. In addition, on March the 29th, construction of the Vulkanashti Kishinev power line began in Moldova. Moldovan President Maya Sandu said that this should have helped Kishinev get rid of energy dependence on Transnistria. The Minister of Energy of Moldova reported that they plan to spend 27 million euros on the construction of the 158-kilometer line. Maya Sandu stated that this project is one of the most important that has been implemented since the country gained independence. Reporting by Diana Kolesnik, Andriy Dmitrenko, UATV News.